So did you know that the self-publishing industry is projected to be worth $12 billion by 2025? So imagine tapping into that market with an ebook that brings in $500 to $1,000 every single month. What would that do for you and would your life change? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you five ebook ideas that you can write to generate an extra $500 to $1,000 every single month. Hey guys, my name is Dawn Marie and here on YouTube, I'm documenting my journey of starting a digital product business from scratch and I'm taking you along with me to show you behind the scenes of everything that I'm getting up to. So I share what's working for me that maybe you can try in your own business to sell your own digital products. Plus, I break down my marketing strategies and give you helpful tips and ideas. So if you'd like to join along with me, I hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing to the channel. So let's get right into the video. Now, ebook idea number one to making an extra $500 to $1,000 per month are how to guides. Now, how to guides are going to always be my number one idea that I recommend just because of how easy it is to take everything that you know in your mind, in your brain, and put that into a document or ebook that you can then sell to the world. In fact, it is through a how to guide that I made my first $2,000 in ebook sales simply by telling people how to do affiliate marketing without a huge website or blog. All I did then was think about all the steps that I took to do affiliate marketing without a huge website or blog. Then I wrote down those steps in a Google document, added some imagery to my document, downloaded it into a PDF, hosted it on Google Drive so that people can get access to it and then sell it to an audience of less than 200 email subscribers. And I think that you can do this too. Now, how to guides are incredibly popular because people are always, always looking to learn new skills or improve their existing ones, whether it's how to start a blog or even to play the guitar. I bet that there is an audience that's eager to learn from you. So I mentioned before how I created my first how-to guide that attracted $2,000 in sales. So here is what you can do. Step one. So think about something that you are very knowledgeable about and you can talk about it all day long without having to read from a script. Now, does that thing help people save time, save or make money or make their life easier? If it does and there's a huge demand for it, then it may be worth exploring it further. Now, once you have your idea of what you are going to put into a guide, think about all the steps that you would expect the person to take to achieve a specific result then write down those steps in an easy to read format. Once you're finished writing those steps, you should have a good few pages that will form an ebook. You can write down these steps in any online document like Microsoft Word or Google Doc, and then you can download the item as a PDF, share it on a hosting platform like Google Drive, AWS or WordPress so your customers can get access to it. Then once you've done all of that, you can open your store and let people know that it is available for sale and sell it through your own website hosting platform that allows sales such as an e-commerce website like Shopify, I use lead pages and send out and you can then start making sales through that ebook. Okay, the second type of ebook idea are puzzle ebooks. I mean, these are perfect for those who love a good mental challenge. And actually, when you go to a marketplace like Amazon, there are over 60,000 search results for puzzle books for adults. So puzzles and crosswords definitely have a dedicated fan base and people are always looking for fresh content. So by offering a variety of puzzles, you can appeal to different skill levels and keep your audience engaged. Plus, these types of books make great travel companions and gifts, which can really help you increase sales even more. Now, you might be wondering what type of puzzle book would make a great ebook. So I think like riddles and brain teasers are one. You could include a collection of challenging riddles and brain teasers that readers can solve in their minds or write down their answers on paper if they want to. Another one is logic 
puzzles where you can present logic problems that readers need to solve using reasoning for example so here is what a logic problem sounds like so a farmer needs to cross a river with a wolf a goat and a cabbage he can only take one at a time how does he do it and if you're not sure how to come up with logic puzzles then use ai or chat gpt to help you then there's also number sequences where you can present sequences of numbers with a pattern that readers need to identify and continue or if it's not an ebook with one type of puzzle through, throughout, you can create a collection of these types of puzzles. Now, the next type of ebook that you can create and sell to generate $500 or more per month are coloring books for adults. Now, I once thought that coloring books were only for kids, but there is a whole population out there that are not kids that are actually using coloring books as a relaxing and therapeutic activity. So you could even make these books that target a specific segment of the market, such as coloring books for stress relief and relaxation or coloring books for nature lovers or coloring books for garden enthusiasts. And how exactly will they use it as an ebook? Well, people who have devices like mobile phones or tablets, they can use their stylus to color into the designs, making it a really convenient digital product, or they can actually print out your designs and then color into it manually. So how do you actually create a coloring book? So Canva, that's the tool that I would recommend. It's one of my favorite design tools and it actually has templates that you can use to create coloring books. And if you're not sure how to get started, there are many videos on YouTube that show you how to get it done. Now, fourth on my list of eBooks that you can create and sell for $500 or more are interactive journals. Now, these types of eBooks are fantastic because they combine guided prompts with personal reflections. So journals focusing on gratitude, self-discovery, or goal setting, they are particularly popular eBooks and they provide structure whilst allowing the reader to make personal expressions, making them a hit with people who are looking to improve their daily lives. So how exactly do you make one of these interactive journals? So let's say that you're making a gratitude journal where you're guiding users on, let's say, 10 days of gratitude. So you can include daily prompts, reflection sections, inspirational quotes, or goal tracking sections within this journal. Use a tool like Canva to create the design and layout of your journal. Then download your journal as a PDF or an EPUB file, then upload it to your preferred host and start promoting your journal. I think this is one of the most useful eBooks that you can create and sell because who wouldn't want to a journal to write their daily thoughts and receive support as they go through their life. Now, the fifth type of eBook that you can create and sell for $500 or more each month month are short story collections. So these are perfect for readers with busy lifestyles. So they can offer quick and engaging reads that can be enjoyed in one sitting. So you can explore various genres like mystery, like romance, sci-fi, where you're catering to different tastes and you're not only entertaining people, but you're showcasing your own creativity and storytelling skills. Now, I've given you ideas of ebooks that you could create to generate a consistent income, but the problem that you might have next is how do you actually sell them and where can you sell them? So there are a few places that come to mind. You can actually sell these types of ebooks in marketplaces like Amazon or Etsy, which are some of the biggest platforms out there, but there are smaller platforms like Google Playbooks, like Kobo, which is uh, for Canadian audience, or even Smashwords. Now, the downside of selling on marketplaces, and it's something that I don't do myself, is that whilst you can post to a wider audience, and that's really good, there are also fees associated with selling on those places, as well as you need to factor in those fees into your price, which can then increase the price of your ebook. Another big problem is that you don't actually keep your customer data so that if you want to resell to a particular customer other books that you have, then you won't be able to use that customer data unless you have a strategy to cap 
capture the customer data if you want those repeat purchases and then also you're building on rented space so you really have to comply with the platform's own terms and conditions as to how to run your business so that's why i prefer selling my digital info products to my own audience and i actually share how to do this in my 10-day action plan for launching and selling digital products so in this plan i'm actually taking you through over 10 days showing you how to put together your offer launch and sell it to an audience that you build and create without any guesswork plus i offer you 28 ways that you can build your own audience of people who are likely to buy your product now when i got started online i grew my audience through blogging and then i sold my info product so that's a really great way if you want to sell your own product through your own website okay guys so that's it five fantastic ideas that you can create to help you earn an extra five $500 or more per month whether you choose to create a how-to guide a puzzle collection coloring books for adults interactive journals or short story collections the key is always to engage and provide value to your users if you found this video helpful and you've gotten more ideas than you thought of then let me know in the comments below and if you have any other ideas for ebooks that you can create and sell then please also leave that in the comment section below thank you so much for watching my video and i'll see you in the next one